Uh, so our final speaker today is Chris Snyder of Llamasoft, who's going to talk to us about supply chain by design. Chris brings over 20 years of experience in enterprise software in, in the enterprise software industry. He spent the past 15 years building and leading engineering and professional services for enterprise software organizations. So uh, help me uh, bring Chris to the stage. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate it. Uh, hi, everyone. How are you doing? So again, I'm Chris Schneider. I run the engineering department at Llamasoft. And I want to start by answering the most common question that we get, which is why the two capital L's in the name. So one of the L's stands for the Dalai Lama, a wise, all-knowing being. And the other L stands for the animal, the llama, which is one of the earliest and still today a sturdy mechanism of supply chain transport, which is what we specialize in, which is in supply chain software. And we actually have a, a llama on staff, <laughs> kind of like the Dalai Lama. Lily is a bit of an activist at times, but unlike the Dalai Lama, she also likes a cocktail or three. <laughs> and so we'd really appreciate if you see her stumbling around the streets of Ann Arbor that you kind of help her get back to our office, which is right down the street at McKinley Town Center. But um, really what I'm talking about is I want to ask a question to the audience, which is how many of you have, and I can't see any of you, so I'm not sure how I'll figure this out, but how many of you have a career plan that's written down, it extends out at least five years, it's been shared with and supported by your current employer? <laughs> okay, that's even less than I thought would raise their hand. Yeah. I'll keep going then. All right. So before I come back to that, I just want to talk real quick about Llamasoft and give it ideas to sort of what some of our challenges are and, and how we're trying to work on that very problem. So, okay, so Llamasoft founded a little over a dozen years ago. That's a founder there, Don Hicks. Uh, really, the company is rooted in supply chain design and planning systems. We use a lot of mathematical optimization, develop algorithms and computer simulations that help large complex companies make efficient designs of their overall supply chain. Gartner just came out with their list of the top 20 of top 25 of the world's supply chains amongst all of the largest companies in the world and 23 of those companies are using Llamasoft products to help optimize the design and planning of their systems. So it's generated a lot of growth, especially in the last three years. You know, we've gone from roughly $20 million in revenue in 2014 and we'll do close to $80 million this year. We have it had about 150 customers in 14, and now we're over 700. And it's generated a lot of jobs around the world, and especially here in Ann Arbor, where we had about 100 people in 2014, and now we're up to close to 500 people. Also, a lot of innovation. And we had two desktop products uh, three years ago, and we now have seven products, four of which are web-based and are all integrated in one central web platform. And our goals, from a financial perspective, are to continue this rate of growth and in the next four to five years achieve somewhere between 150 to 200 million dollars in revenue and try to get close to around a billion dollar valuation and in doing so we'll almost certainly create roughly a thousand more jobs so with that comes the need to create an environment that fosters innovation and creativity amongst a large group of people and uh, the text around the end are some of the values that are posted on our website. And we spent a lot of time going over and figuring out what those values are. And if you want to read more about them, they're, they're on there with a bit more of an explanation. But in general, I kind of think about it as a sort of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. At the very bottom, you need to have competitive pay, competitive benefits. And we use external data by companies like Pay Factors that'll bring in different geographic regions, this is the pay for this particular job or this particular level with this much experience so that we you know, use that market research to ensure that we know we're paying competitive wages. Or if, for instance, software developers, which is a, a super competitive space, we've made conscious decisions where we're going to exceed the market in paying those individuals. Uh, obviously, benefits, and as you continue to be successful, it's important that you put that money back into the employee base. So whether it's increasing paternity leave, adding additional vacation, 401k matching, better health care benefits, these are all really important things that as you continue to grow and become more and more successful, that the employees reap the benefits of that success as well. 
And then it kind of moves up into the next layer, especially in software industry where you want to have uh, you know, various, various kind of ancillary things, but they're important as well. So for instance, cool office space. When Google moved out of the McKinley Town Center to build their campus, we jumped at the opportunity to get that space and we've been there now over a year and it's been, you know, been fantastic. Things like flexible hours. People are not always their most creative between nine to five sitting at their desk. So making sure it's, it's okay to come in or be in the space where they need to be to be most creative at those times. And that might be in a kayak or taking a hike or a walk in the middle of the day. Um, you know, coming in at whatever particular hours or working really late at night, whatever really suits their creative needs especially. Games like pinball and ping pong, uh, uh, you know, pool, or we even have a bar where Lily the Llama likes to hang out all too frequently. And lots of free food. There's a bit of a freshman 15 factor when you first join LlamaSoft as well. And then, I don't want to say those things are easy, but you just kind of put them there and, and, and people come together and use them. And as you go higher and higher, then it becomes more difficult. You want to create sort of a, a, a trusting environment, a safe environment where people can, they can throw out their ideas and not feel that there's going to be you know, other people making fun of them or saying, oh, that's a stupid idea. And give people the ability to fail and experiment. We experiment all the time and it's important that people feel inspired to want to go off and do something that may be really difficult and hard and know that if that doesn't work out, they can go try something else or keep trying at it until they get it right. And there's obviously a certain extent to where you can't let that go on forever, but a lot of experimentation to, to go along with it. And then kind of coming to the point that I made earlier, which is as we continue to grow and look out over the next 10 years and are going to add this many jobs, it's important that people understand what, what is their career path and how does that fit into the overall organization and where we're going. So, I mean, I have interviewed hundreds of people over the last three years here at LlamaSoft and the number one reason that I'm given from candidates as to why they're considering leaving their, exist, their, their current employer is there's no career path there. And some of these people work in large companies with tens of thousands of employees, so I know there is a career path there. Just they even they either haven't thought about their own path enough or their manager, or their mentor, or their coach, or even if they have those folks within the organization, hasn't helped them connect the dots between you know, where are they going and what are the opportunities within the organization. So it's very important that you put together the, the, the descriptions and the roles and how does one move up into those tracks if you want to remain technical or if I want to become a manager, how do I get leadership training and what are those opportunities. It would be it would be criminal for us as we add this many jobs over the next several years if people leave because they don't feel like there is an opportunity within LlamaSoft or within you know, your organizations that you work for. Um, if, you're, you know, if your companies are also growing, because we haven't taken the time to work with those individuals and make sure that they understand what's their career and what are the opportunities within that organization. So, Again, I come back to that earlier question, which is what do you want to be when you grow up? And I implore you to take the time to write that down, five years, 10 years, as, as far out as you can. It's important to write it down, not just sort of think about it. Work with your manager or your supervisor and your employer in general to understand what are those opportunities. And if that hits a dead end, then come apply to LombSoft because we're hiring. <laughs> cool. Thank you. I think you touched on this a little bit from uh, A. Zinkel, but what do you look for when interviewing new talent? Yeah, it, that's a great question. It, it varies, uh, you know, based on the job, if you're hiring a manager or an executive or an entry level uh, a programmer that's fresh out of school. But, so there's different, different styles of interviews that we do, um, but ultimately we try to get the person to present to us, to, sh to talk about one of their passions and so that we can see in them sort of what makes them tick, how do they interact with others. It's a very collaborative environment as most software companies are and when you're trying to produce large complex systems and so it's important that it's someone with good communication skills, they're able to express their ideas. You know, one of our tenants, if you noticed down there, was fight hard, fight fair. So they're willing to express their ideas, hold their ground, have those fierce conversations, but at the same time, do it in a way that one of the other speakers mentioned, I think it was a lot, which is don't be a jerk. And so that's a, a key aspect on top of just raw intelligence and ability to, to program very well. Cool.
Thanks. 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 Okay.